right. We are live. All right, all right. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ryan Pavey. I play Will Nash in Hallmark Channel's upcoming fall film, Harvest Love. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about Harvest Love and your character. Well, I, I play Will Nash. I, I operate and maintain the Gilson family farm, where I'm going to run into the lovely Jen Lilly, who plays Lily Gilson. Um, and we have a bit of a bumpy beginning, frictional start, but I think it's all going to end up okay. Nice. What attracted you to this role and why did you want to play it? Um, well, first off, it's an opportunity to work with Hallmark Channel, which um, I can now tell you from personal experience is pretty fun, pretty good group of humans. Um, but Will Nash and I have a bit in common. We're both kind of like salt of the earth kind of guys. Um, the script was fun. It was cute. Hallmark movies were always fun. I feel like a hug. So I, 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 there's no reason not to. It was such a positive experience looking, looking at it from the front end. Now looking at it from the back end, it was great. Cool. We have a couple of fans saying that they're so excited to see you uh, yeah. in this movie. What are some of your favorite things about fall? My favorite things about fall? I live in SoCal. Um, I don't. I miss fall. I, I miss. I miss that di that first day when you feel the air temperature change. Almost the density of the air changes. The trees start to change colors. Maybe you'll get a little bit of frost in the morning or a snowflake or two. Um, we don't really get a lot of that in Southern California, so sadly I don't get tons of it on a yearly basis, but I travel a fair bit and I get to experience it elsewhere, so. Very true. Matt has a good question. So what can we expect from Harvest Love outside of the usual boy meets girl story? Uh, well, you're going to get to see boy meet girls kiddo too, because anybody who knows me knows that I, I love kids, so, and they had a, a really special one on this one, Brendan, who was awesome. So there'll be that. Cool. Tell us a little bit about working with Jen Lilly. Oh man, working with Jen Lilly was awesome. You know, it's funny too because we both come from the soap universe and in the soap world everybody kind of knows everybody. We were on different shows, although she did step in on my show for a little while uh, once upon a time. But I had known of her, we would just never met and I remember meeting her on day one. Super easy to get along with, works in soaps, so an impeccable professional. I had a blast. I'm hoping we do it again. Cool. Any fun behind the scenes stories you can share with us? Um, well, I got a couple. Kiddo, Brendan, kind of became my unofficial jewelry apprentice because he's obsessed with rocks and gems and he's also a, a tiny genius, which was amazing. And then um, I think Jen and I constantly uh, deciding how much caffeine was appropriate. <laughs> Or we had a really romantic scene one time and uh, trying to deliver our lovely lines and there's a like a pack of coyotes just going to town somewhere in the dark in the distance over there <laughs> and just us just trying to keep a straight face and say all the right things and do all the right things while there's I don't know it was funny it was funny watch for it we'll be sitting in the back of a truck so when you watch the film just imagine us doing all of that with like a bunch of coyotes going crazy in the dark Cool. Rosemary has a good question. She said, hi Ryan, you travel hi. so much. What are three of your favorite places you've been to and why? Three of my favorite places I've been to. Um, I'll give you two that I've done by bike and one by plane. I do a lot of motorcycle adventures and I'm kind of a desert rat. So uh, Utah, Moab, Utah, Zion, um, Colorado. And then flying, I took a trip at the beginning of this year, early this year, to Spain and Portugal, and Portugal just, Portugal just got me. Portugal is beautiful. It's amazing. It's awesome. Um, let's see here. Will you be in a Christmas movie? Not this year, unfortunately. What are your favorite things about making Hallmark movies? Um, that's a pretty long list. Um, as an actor, it's awesome to work with a film crew that's happy and knows how to do their jobs. Anybody who's been involved in any professional situation knows that your day goes by so much better when everybody knows how to do what they're supposed to do, everybody does what they're supposed to do, and they do it happily. Everybody's happy to be working. Um, a good question. What's the difference, difference between doing a soap and a Hallmark movie? The um, difference between doing a soap and a Hallmark film, page count, page count number of cameras. <laughs> I know that's kind of boring like tech talk, but but it kind of is, you know, on a, on a soap opera, my typical day is 20 to 40 pages easy, maybe 50, something like that. On a Hallmark film, we'll do about 8 to 10. Um, the difference being on a soap, we got four or five cameras. On a Hallmark, we've got one. But 
from the artist's standpoint, in a soap opera, you get one or two takes, and then that's the end of it. You're you're done. In a Hallmark film, we get a little bit more time. We get an opportunity to give it our best go. And if something doesn't work, we get an opportunity to do it again in a way that does, which makes me happy because I'm kind of a perfectionist. So. Awesome. Well, we're running out of time. Is okay. there anything special you want the fans to take away from this movie? I want fans to watch this movie and think about their families. It's a film about family. So think good thoughts. Hug your family. Awesome. Let's remind them when they can watch it. You can catch uh, myself, Jen Lilly, and Tiny Genius Brendan next Saturday at 9, 8 central on Hallmark Channel. Perfect.